This is me. Pooper. <laughs> <laughs> this is how vloggers do it. Yeah, like that, right? Yeah. Probably not, though. I'll start again. So, hello, everybody. I'm here in Miami doing Miami things because Will Smith invited me. We're gonna be doing some shark tagging tomorrow. Uh, we Like, I got invited really kindly uh, by FGOL to sort of go on this trip to Miami, um, which is, they've teamed up with Oceana, which is another organization with, they, they, do, bleh, they do a lot of conservation work and stuff like that. Um, and tomorrow they're gonna tag some sharks to help with research. Well, I'm not gonna do much, I don't think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there and be like, that's a shark. Yeah, it's like something from the Discovery Channel, it's crazy, it's like so awesome. Uh, to be a part of it. Hairy armpit. So just got into the hotel. I think this is how people vlog today. I don't know. Uh, I can't. So this is my room. The room tour. I actually went to the Google headquarters and look at that. That's not how you do it. There you go. How about we just do it like that? So before um, I went to Google headquarters and I got this. Look. It's a legit YouTube, uh, like YouTube gaming hoodie. It has the YouTube gold heart thing on it. And I've never really had a contact with YouTube or Google or anything like that. So that was really cool to sort of talk about algorithms and boring stuff. Tomorrow is shark tagging and the day after is uh, shark swimming, snorkeling with sharks. Now, what I should do is place this here, like this way. Hold on, hold on. I got an idea. I'll be here. It's like Jurassic News, but not news. And the sharks we're gonna bump into, which I'll probably put there, I think, um, is stuff like sandbar sharks, uh, possibly lemon sharks, maybe some reef. Um, but on the original manifest that was given to us, it said bull sharks as well. <laughs> if you didn't know, a bull shark is a shark team we don't even go swimming with at all. Um, they're incredibly aggressive because they have incredibly high levels of testosterone and they can also um, survive in fresh water by filtering out the... Um, it's something to do with their kidneys and stuff like that. So they're really aggressive, known uh, for man killing, killing, killing man. Not women, they don't kill women. Uh, but it turns out that we're not going to be swimming with those, thank God. Because <laughs> I was going to be a little bit... I'm skeptical. Don't want to do that. So what I've done is hold on, hold on. Let's show you. Oh, I'm also going like full tourist. Check that out. Yeah, beaver toes. A handle. That's not the thing. It's this. It's a GoPro uh, Hero Five. So I've never had a GoPro before. Um, probably because I've had no reason to have a GoPro because I don't really go out much. You can get the covers for them, but this is waterproof. Waterproof up to about 10 meters down, I think. Worst case scenario is I put this in the water when I jump in and it just dies and crashes. <laughs> it's like something you see on Discovery Channel. It's basically what they're doing. They're, you know, tracking where sharks go. Um, and, you know, it's gonna be ocean. It's part of Shark Week, which is part of Discovery. So, and then when I did the live stream with FGOL not too long ago, Discovery Channel were actually watching it. I don't really do vlogs. And like the day that, the time I do this, I get a lovely, look at that. Can we get close up? This is why I don't do face cams. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably cut this down. <laughs> Vlog number 28. Swimming with sharks, man dies. Now to do some weird transition where we come back. Yay. <laughs> Alright, go beans. 
almost half five in the morning and I didn't record anything last night because I was knackered when we got back. You see, I look at caught the sun and the spot has grown. We're about to head out and go swim with sharks. First time swimming with sharks. So, could it be more sharks? Yay! <laughs> Nervous right now, a little bit, but I kind of think it's a case of ignorance is bliss. And if I didn't know that sh what sharks were like, but then again, because I know sharks aren't really that interested, I shouldn't be nervous yet, because it's something I've never done before. Um, that kind of comes with the territory. But I'm going to enjoy this, and uh, hopefully, you guys will see it too. So, that's the... Okay, have a seat and then slide on it. So, here we are in the hotel again. Nice safe hotel. Um, we've just come back from swimming with sharks. I didn't record last night because after we got in from tagging, um, tagging some of the sharks, we went out, had a meal, and it was like, by the time I got back, I was just so tired that I, I could. Also, we couldn't film too much of the uh, sharks. Even though it's completely fine for the sharks to be tagged and all that jazz, if, you know, they have to sort of clear all the videos, so only the people who are on social media for Oceana, Hungry Shark, had the right to sort of take video of that, so unfortunately I couldn't, but I think there's some out there that I'll put in, so... And it was great. And for those of you interested, yes, the spot has grown. So I want to say a big thank you to FGOL for inviting me out here, and also um, Oceana for setting this whole, thing, this whole thing up. They do a lot of good conservation. They're working on the dusky shark, which is an endangered species, and they were hoping to catch one and tag one on that trip. But we got like a great hammerhead, a scalloped hammerhead, a nurse shark, and a black nose shark, which was adopted by somebody at FGOL and is now called Teacup. Aww.
We tried everything to live stream as well. That was great actually. We tried everything to live stream. I had the actual Wi-Fi thing on my back. I had the phone in a waterproof case. So what we were trying to do was have a live stream where we went from the boat into the water, swam out to where the sharks had their bait and live, uh, like live broadcast the sharks. We're about to go in to shark infested water. Um, so I'm actually a mobile um, Wi-Fi hotspot right now. I have it on my back. So hopefully we shouldn't lose connection. But as soon as like it hit the water, within 30 seconds, lost connection. And the phone was like, if this was the water level, the phone was like in and out, it was like halfway. All connection goes, because it was literally connecting to my back, to in front of me. I don't think you can go to any more effort than that. But uh, you, you think um, when you get in the water that the sharks are gonna be like, oh, there's, there's a human, I'm gonna go eat him. I'm gonna go investigate. But um, I mean, they would investigate. They just, they're not killers. Like movies and TV shows always portray sharks as these dangerous things. When they're really not, they're not at all. And even when we were out there, bull sharks appeared. The shark that I'm more scared of than, well, probably, it depends if I was with a great white, I'd probably say great white's more terrifying, but bull shark, if you don't know, have really high levels of testosterone. I probably mentioned it earlier on the video, but they were there and, uh, not asked, not asked at all. So I actually swam with bullshit. I can, I can say, I swam with the most. That's it. That's the time. Most dangerous. First time ever swimming. So yeah, this whole trip's been amazing. Like honestly, seeing all the research that they were doing, I didn't know what to expect when I was coming out here. They, they're actual genuine scientists doing st like stuff that's really gonna help hopefully future generations and our generation preserve these species. They were doing stuff like, how does how does a shark living in an urban environment, like feeding, how does that affect the shark? Sit back and watch. And I actually got to tag the nurse shark. We actually pulled up a nurse shark because it was quite a big one. It was like, it was over a meter for sure. It was almost like two meters, a two meter nurse shark. And um, so we all had different jobs. You had like you were yet well with the nurse shark. Apparently, it's the exception because nurse sharks can actually breathe without having water pumped in their gills. Like the hammerhead, they had to have this like tube that filtered water through so they don't suffocate. And also, while we were out there, there was a fishing boat who, that I'll hopefully I've put in it, put in the movie or I'll put in now that um, had actually a huge nurse shark and they didn't look like they were gonna set it free. It was wrapped around its gills, basically choking the thing, and it was out of water. Even though it's a nurse shark, it can sort of breathe, but I don't think any shark likes being held up by its neck. We were lucky enough to catch them, and they ended up cutting the shark free. So that was even before we got a shark, we'd already saved one. So that was a pretty special experience. I couldn't have asked more. Like, this has been amazing. For, for someone like me who's I'm very enthusiastic about nature, sharks, anything like that, if I can help spread the word of uh, conservation efforts like this or help them in any way whatsoever, um, I'd be happy to do so. That's why not too long ago we did the whales and dolphin uh, live stream that helped raise money for them, which is great. Um, for all those of you that donated, that was amazing. Thank you so much for doing that. And even if you didn't donate, just even watching uh, or even telling somebody about that this charity exists and the work that they do. The camera's been too still for a vlog, so... <laughs> what are those? That's what vlog people do. That's me basically done in, uh, in Miami here. So in closing, I want to say a big thank you to uh, FGOL for inviting me out, even like taking the time to think that like, oh yeah, he'd be interested in this. Cause that was so thoughtful of them, of you guys. And thank you so much for doing that. Oceana for allowing me to even be part of this whole experience. Cause without them, they wouldn't have invited FGOL and they wouldn't have invited me. So this whole chain of events wouldn't have happened. I'll put all the links in the description below to their various websites and you can see what kind of things they do. Like I know Oceana for one thing um, are really pushing the preservation or protection of the dusky shark. There was a law recently passed, illegal to hunt them or destroy their habitats. And apparently the government isn't doing their bit to protect these sharks. So they're really hammering home to uh, get them working on the doctor. And also uh, University of Miami, the shark research team for allowing me even to put a tag in that nurse shark. I can't remember what number it is, but hopefully it's doing well and it'll come up somewhere else and you, that'll help. I don't know, show where it lives. It has a house somewhere, I don't know. And also Deep Obsessions. They're the team that we had, we had, bleh, that we went out snorkeling with and uh, allowed us to snorkel with the sharks. Man, I just had, I've had a blast these past two days. That's it. It's been it's been two days and I've done so much. 
probably, it probably helps to like get up at five o'clock in the morning. And now my battery is flashing red. Like if you could see a battery sign, it would be right there. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I don't really do vlogs, but I couldn't say no to this opportunity. I, I guess you would understand. This has been amazing. And hopefully we'll do more stuff in the future. F girl, <laughs> go to Mexico. Should wear the sharks. Oh, Gianna, not playing favorites here. Mm. I'll see you later if this doesn't die. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.